and welcome to White Belt Wonder. I'm Sean and I'm, I'm Matt and we're here to talk today about getting started out. So with this channel what we really want to focus on and what we really want to do is talk about you know what it's like to be a beginner, what are the things that you're going to need to know or want to know or be curious to know about getting started and then also just talk about you know what our journey and what our progression is like you know the different kind of milestones the aha moments the the, the struggles that we're going to run into as we go uh, since we're both white bells we only just started recently um, so it's not about us expounding on technique and being experts about anything by any means it's just kind of to bring you into the process bring you into kind of this this journey that we're on um, it's going to be a lot of fun on our way there wherever it leads us. So today we want to talk about getting started, what it looks like to kind of search around, find a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gym and, uh, you know, get, get involved with it. Um, you know, you're going to search for a gym and look for different places. And what a lot of places do is they'll allow you to come and check it out and have a free lesson, uh, just to try it out. So you can go approach the gym, find their hours, check online. They might have a schedule posted online more than likely. Um, and then you can go show up to the class. If you go to a gi class on a gi day where they're wearing the gi, um, they will usually loan you one, uh, or you may need to purchase one, or you can go at a time when they're having a no gi class when you can just go in some street clothes. So it'd uh, probably be good to talk a little bit about, you know, maybe how you should dress and what you should wear to yeah. that. Like maybe when you call them, when you stop in, ask them what to, to wear the first day or if they have those things. Um, so you're prepared because it is if you're doing gi, you really want to have something on so you can practice the techniques when you're there. It'd be mm -hmm. hard to do in a t-shirt. They tear too easy when you're choking somebody. <laughs> Absolutely. Now you may not have a gym uh, choice in your town. You may only have one gym, um, and that's okay too. Um, most places, it's so prevalent now that most places have two or three or more that you can choose from, uh, which kind of brings us to the next point about really choosing a gym that's right for you. They're not necessarily all the same. Um, some of the uh, teaching theories are a little bit different. The techniques are the same, but uh, the way tr people treat each other in the class and the philosophy behind the class can be different. Some of them are very uh, mixed martial arts focused. Some are competition focused. Some are self-defense focused or a combination. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see a mix of men and women. Um, you know, those are, those are clues to what the culture is like in the gym. Mm -hmm. So if you have the choice to do it, Sean said, and go take a bunch of free classes at different gyms, and find the one that has the people you like the best. It's going to be your family yeah. uh, for the next however many years, you know. Yeah, try and tease it out a little bit. You may fit in better with one place than with another. Or you may like kind of maybe one place has more of a competition focus that you're going to want to compete with. Or other places may have just kind of a, a recreational focus. So give it a try. See how they see how they are. Uh, the gym we go to has a lot of talk about teaching and um, just pushing yourself to be your best. So we really like it. And also they, they emphasize being a good partner to, to train and practice with, which is really important, you know, to us. So yeah, we feel we found kind of a good fit there. You want to go hard, but you also want partners to train with the next night or the next morning mm -hmm. who still like you. Yeah, we'll get more <laughs> to that. Injured. Yeah. yeah, we'll get more to that in some later lessons. Um, you know, kind of tonight though, what would you, what would you see? What is it going to be like that first trial lesson? Um, so I'll give you kind of a little bit of my experience with that first lesson. My first one was a, a no-gi class on a Saturday, and the instructors paired me up with a brown belt, which is one of the, the higher belts, and which was really good because he had a lot of experience. He's good at teaching. He's good at explaining things, good at slowing it down for me. And I was really twitchy and, and nervous, and the whole time <laughs> I remember him telling me, calm down, slow down, relax, relax. And for the whole hour of the lesson portion of the class it was relax relax and I was just like I'm trying to relax I'm trying <laughs> you feel like you are but you're not <laughs> yeah I was just so tense so just remember relax well why is that it's why, about learning why did you have trouble relaxing what it was happening um you know I was just first off I was nervous and then also I was I was bringing kind of like a, a street fight intensity mentality to the right. thing when it's that's really not what it is so zero skills to start with zero which skills. means you overcompensate with strength and or motion speed, and, yeah, yeah shooting things right mm -hmm. so it's hard to pick up stuff and and that's the funny paradox too you see the higher belts and you think oh they're gonna kill me i'm gonna be destroyed but those are the ones you want to roll with mm -hmm. because they want to teach you so they will slow it down 
around. They'll let you try things. They have the ability to weather any attack you throw at them. So they don't feel that same uh, fight or flight or street fighter mentality, right? Yeah. You want to go with the upper belts because they'll treat you well. You definitely want to, yeah. in your early days, your first times, look for the purples, look for the browns, you know, even the blues. Yeah. Um, look for them and roll with them. You know, some of my favorite kind of first experiences were with some of these purple belts that, you know, you offer to roll with them at the at the time end of the class and they sit down and like their face goes completely blank and they just look at you <laughs> like this and they, you know they're they're inviting you in they're just waiting to see what you're and gonna you know do. it's a trap <laughs> and they'll just you know they'll pull you into it and they'll flow with you it's really it's really kind of a cool thing it's a fun experience yeah. to have mm -hmm. yep yeah so kind of going back to what that first class is going to look like usually they have um an hour of instruction time where you'll get partners and they'll work through small pieces of, of a technique at a time. After that instruction time, then they'll have rolling time. So you'll probably have an hour, you know, however long you half feel comfortable hour. doing, yeah. half hour to an hour of doing five minute rounds, six minute rounds with a partner and actually rolling, wrestling, actually sparring with somebody. Um, it's very taxing. Yes, that, especially when you start, because again, you have no technique. You're just strengthening everything. You exhaust yourself trying to get position. You don't even know what you're going for, what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, everyone feels heavy. Gravity's not on your side. <laughs> and they've paired you probably with an upper belt to help you through the lesson, and that's usually the first, first person you roll with. Um, and, you know, they're going to be able to do whatever they want to you. Uh, you just have to get over it. And we'll talk more about humility and how that feels. Yeah. And it feels for a while. You know, we're 90, just over 90 days in, and I'm still at times struggling with that humility piece and letting it go and just absorbing and being a blank slate or an empty cup. It's hard to do. It can get frustrating constantly losing. Yeah. But, you know, what culture are you going to bring to the gym? Uh, you know, in my mind, I'm kind of, I'm trying to come in and say, I'm going to lose and lose and lose and lose and lose and just enjoy the process of learning. Right. And eventually and starting not to lose. Yeah. Exactly. You start not to lose and start to know something. You know, one of the kind of first things that hit me was when I first started rolling, they'd get me onto my back and on my shoulders and I didn't know that it wasn't over. Right. It's not wrestling. Right. This is basically till the death. Right. Until you submit somebody. So yeah. uh, one thing to know, an important thing for a newbie is... <laughs> You control when it's over, right. when you're submitting. So tapping out is how you end this. He gets you in the arm bar the or the yeah. choke. You got to tap out. So don't get hurt. Right. That's how you don't get hurt in this. Is There's no trophy at the end of the roll. He's got yeah. my neck. It's getting tight. I'm going to tap rather than <laughs> tap brute under. force strength my way out. If I yeah. don't know an escape and he's got my arm twisted... This isn't a movie, right? Tap out or pass out. I'm right? here for for the enjoyment, for the <laughs> yeah. for the progress, for the journey, for the personal fulfillment. Yeah. Right. Tap. Let's reset, start over, and then they'll explain it to you sometimes and help you figure out how they got you in that, or you know how to escape it next time. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot more to talk about, but we gave you some of the basic structure of the class, sort of what to look for in a school. Um, really make sure you're comfortable there. A lot of upper belts in the class and uh, having a good mix of men and women typically signifies a really good culture that is, uh, you know, cooperative, encouraging. It's where you want to be and it doesn't mean it has to be soft. Uh, one of the black belts in our class is like top five female fighter in the black belt division in the, in the world. So, you know, she's winning a lot of stuff and yet is still mm -hmm. an extremely supportive partner and teacher for us yeah. professors. So mm -hmm. we're excited about that. And, um, you know, don't forget to follow us on YouTube and subscribe to our yeah, channel. That we're, subscribe button. And we want to hear back from you. If mm -hmm. you've had a first day experience or you're going to go and do one after watching this video, please come back in and let us know and, and ask us questions. If there's things you want to hear from us or, uh, you know, hey, I had this thought in my head, but I'm not sure I'm the only one, and I don't want to share it at my gym or with my friends who maybe don't understand. Yeah. Ask us. We'll talk about it with you. Yeah. We're Curious. going to share a lot of our first experiences. We want to hear your first experiences, so uh, leave us a comment. 